Okay, y'all, so this is a plantain and I literally hate bananas. I have some right here. I'm gonna make some banana bread, but opening up a banana and biting it is the most disgusting thing in the world to me. So <laughs> when I tried the plantain, I didn't really have high hopes for it, but plantains are so good. So I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare it real quick. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I usually like cut the tip off and I go ahead and peel it. This plantain is really, really ripe. <laughs> I usually eat them when they're like this, but whole foods, it seems like their vegetables go bad really fast. Ooh, ah, the ghetto. So think about that real quick. Regular grocery store, regular grocery store, got this plantain. It's not organic, it's a regular plantain. I got it last Friday. Whole Foods, regular plantain, and it's bigger. They looked about the same when I bought them. And look at it now, today's Thursday. It's only been like five days. And this one's been like seven days almost. So make it make sense. I feel like I got some in my mouth. But yeah, make it make sense. But anyway, y'all, back to the plantain. Um, so I'm gonna peel it. Oof, honey. <laughs> I'm going to peel my plantain. Like that. Now I'm just going to slice it up. Ooh, this is gonna be so much better than having oatmeal. Okay, so now you got two options. You can use olive oil or you can use like Pam or you can use butter. And so brown sugar is totally optional. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of brown sugar on here when they start cooking to just give them a little sweet little kick. Turn that fire down. Gotta turn the fire down y'all. Like that, that's good. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. You want it to dry out just a bit. And I need to get me a spatula. Hey girl, so you can see me plate these things, girl. Oh yeah. And this is meal number one. I'm probably gonna eat again about 12.30. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my plantains and I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I got busy with work and time now is 1 30. this is why having something already prepared is so important because if you didn't have anything prepared you will order out and just make a really bad decision so yesterday i made some meatless stir fry and basically it's shrimpless fried rice i use mushrooms instead and i also made some yum yum sauce and i'm probably gonna have some dates on the side i did not know the level of salt that regular soy sauce has in it well anyway i use these cocoa liquid aminos to make this instead of using soy sauce and basically <clears throat> this is half of the amount of sodium that you have in soy sauce and so let's go ahead and warm this yumminess up look how good that looks oh my god yes mm. y'all this is banging to me mushrooms kind of have the consistency of like um scallops and i love <laughs> i love scallops all right, y'all, so that was meal number two. I'm probably gonna have a snack and then eat dinner by seven. So I'll get back with y'all. All right, y'all, it's 3.30 and it's been about two hours. <laughs> I'm done working, but I am so hungry. I think because I waited so long to eat that I got really hungry. So I'm gonna make myself a snack. We got a couple different options for a snack. Guys, look at my nails. So I got this avocado that I opened yesterday. <coughs> and I think I'm gonna make me some coronavirus. Go away. <laughs> I love 
and welcome to my channel. By the way, I got green nails. So, well, I'm just gonna take this avocado and mush it up. Guys, I have some. the coronavirus. You do not have coronavirus. No, why I'm coughing? You're not my girlfriend. You're my daughter. First. So we're just going to take this avocado and mush it up really good. We're just going to take a lemon and cut it in half. Put some lemon juice. Be careful not to get the seeds in here just like I did. All right, so here's our avocado. And you could do one or two things here. You can um, toast your bread or not toast your bread. I don't feel like toasting my bread today. So I got my bread and I'm just going to spread my avocado on my bread. Yummy, yummy, yummy. The avocado is going to fill me up, hopefully hold me over until dinner time. So I'm feeling a little fancy. So I'm going to add some tomatoes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So listen, if you don't have tyene in your kitchen, what are you doing? Voila. So, okay, y'all, because... Uh, avocados they ripen fast and I'm probably not going to eat this tomorrow because I cut it open yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and finish it with my snack. I'm going to have me some plantain chips with my avocado toast y'all. This is so good and of course my water. I have been really doing bad on water today. I'm only at about 64 ounces. My goal is 96 and it's Four o'clock. I think it would have been better if I would have warmed up my bread, but whatever. All right, y'all. So it's time for dinner, and I have this leftover rice from yesterday. So we're gonna have stir fry rice again. So basically, how you start it off is I have some butter and some vegetables, and I'm gonna add my rice. I'm gonna add my mushrooms and an egg plus the coconut soy sauce and that's going to be dinner. All right y'all, so this is the last meal of the day and I have some fried rice here. With <laughs> Mushrooms as my quote unquote meat. So I'm just going to add some yum yum sauce. Yeah, here. yum yum sauce. And this is it. So also I made some fresh banana. I made some fresh banana bread. But fresh banana bread. Kind of late to be eating this many carbs, but I am going to have meat one slice. Let me show y'all this bread though. Look how moist it is. Yes. Y'all are looking for an alternative to like pops. If you just need something else added to your water regimen, this yeah. AHA, I don't know how you pronounce it, aha, uh -huh, peach and honey flavor, yeah. off the chain. Target also yeah. has one as well. This is Target's brand, it's ginger and peach. All right, y'all, so that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, give this video a big thumbs up and I'm out.